Athanasi 2 Beta Grammar Screencast. In this, we're going to be looking at the vocative address phrase, the imperative, the infinitive, and add a couple phrases. Now, when we use uh, certain nouns when we're talking to people, we use what's called the vocative. The vocative is when you address someone. It looks just like the nominative, except for this second declension noun. So therefore, you start with the verb, second person singular, you are. Here we have this epsilon ending indicating it's the vocative. So this noun, which is normally third person, becomes second person. Slave, you are agathos, good. The O is often used as a vocative. O Poseidon is an address phrase. Let's talk about the imperative. When you give a command in Greek, it's a shortened version. So therefore, tima, timate, lue, luete, poie. Why is it poie? Why is that imperative? Because it's an epsilon contract. Poiete. And is the este, farmer come to the house, o a turge, notice vocative, baine, come to the house. Farmers come to the house, you're talking second plural, banete. So in the indicative, we have tense, the farmer loves the house. But in the imperative, you have a shortened version, second singular, Walk. There is no tense. It's a volative mood. O slave, come. Ace plus accusative is the same as in plus accusative in Latin. Into the house. A goal phrase. We also need to look at the infinitive. The infinitive is ain, luain. For alpha contracts, it's on. Epsilon contracts its ain, and the impair and the infinitive of ani is to be. Ani. Now notice infinitive is simply it doesn't have a person number. That's why it's infinitive. It's translated as two. So the farmer wants to walk to the house. You can't use the infinitive directly. It has to be subordinate another verb. The farmer wants to walk toward the house. Day is often used as an imp as a regular uh, impersonal verb. It is necessary to walk infinitive d plus the genitive through phrase through the road. Now notice these brackets tells you this is another clause. Through the road goes with but did say instead of day. The proper translation of ani, the infinitive, is to be. Well, that's everything we need to know for that grammar screen crash. Make sure you have your highlights, your notes, and a question for your acuity question. Until I see you in class tomorrow, aloha.